This is said in Dar es Salaam by the Deputy Minister of Land, Housing and Human Settlement at an international conference on growing housing opportunities in Africa. Nationalization discouraged investors, private investors, into the sector. In addition to that, the government had invested very little into the national housing. Okay? It is now that the newly reformed the national housing, the transformed national housing, has been I mean, uh, I mean, uh, fully you know, I mean, empowered through financial facilities uh, you know, to, to, I mean, uh, to take a, a, a leading role in the real estate development in the country. An economist and professor from the Oxford University in the UK, Paul Collier, said poor housing policies have contributed to what he called catastrophic housing situation in many African countries. Unfortunately in Africa, because there wasn't enough planning, in a lot of places there's now a need to retrofit. Um, and at the moment, um, retrofitting public infrastructure is, is impeded by in my view, an insufficiently robust approach to the process. Um, uh, you can't actually retrofit infrastructure by consent. You have to have a public policy override.